What is going on everybody? This is Duracell02 here with another video for you. What I am showing you today is how I've done it as far as getting my copper, polished uh, copper so upgrade for my still. You've been away on some travels, yes? To make moonshine and I wanted to show you guys exactly how much you could and make off see. of it. So I will continue to do so now. It says I have the lowest price for MASH, which is actually free <laughs> this time. I believe it's because when I leveled up, I did get a coupon from the um, Outlaw Pass that made it free. So, just a quick overview. 30 minutes it takes to make weak moonshine. Average moonshine is 45 minutes. Strong moonshine is 60 minutes. Weak moonshine, you, make, um, you can make up to, I believe, $81. Uh, most of it, though, seems to be like around $75. Average moonshine, you can make like 131 to 144. And the one that I want to show you guys about now, because I did have someone ask me a question about it, how much do you make when your moonshine still is fully upgraded? Well, now I'm going to show you. So, yeah, it is a reward. So, it's free. I don't have to actually pay anything because of the level that I got to in the Outlaw Pass. So, let's get that here. Oh, please. We got a good price here. Yes, we got a good price. Now, I'll show you what it takes. Okay. You can make 206 for the flavored, some of the flavored. Poison Poppy Moonshine, this lady Good wants it for some reason. She wants it for $225. And the recipe for that, well, it's not showing me the recipe, actually. It's just poison. So, this one um, is also 187 so it ranges. Depending on the flavor, you add this one right here, Wild Creek Moonshine, which takes wild mint, vanilla flower, and a creek plum. That one will make, give you 225 when you sell it. Um, the Berry Cobbler Moonshine will give you 206. And these are just the requests I have right now. The Tropical Moonshine, 187. So I have the Berry, the Evergreen Moon, uh, the Evergreen Moonshine, and Wild Cider, as well as Wild Creek. I'm probably going to end up going with the Wild Creek. The only thing is, the reason I'm not going to start it right away, is if you see on the bottom, the buyer's reset in 38 minutes. Since it'll take about an hour to produce the 20 bottles of moonshine, which is what I need to sell, what I'm going to actually do is wait until the buyers reset. Therefore, when it comes time for me to sell after it's done being made in an hour, uh, I would have had a new buyer. Therefore, this buyer won't run out and I won't have to sell it for a cheaper price. So that is what I wanted to show you guys now uh, that I don't have any just yet that's being that's made. So what I'll do is I'll make the flavor. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But as you know, you, you already saw what the prices are, how much you can make. And that's even faster than you can than you can actually um, make money with as far as Crips goes as well. So you can make a pretty decent amount of money by doing Moonshine, um, the Crips Trading Company, as well as splitting it up with the Trader, I mean, uh, excuse me, the Bounty Hunter and the Collector. The Collector, you could always make a bunch of money. And so basically, uh, yeah, you can make quite a bit of money, quite a bit of gold by doing all of the actual uh, frontier pursuits. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to answer uh, that person's question that they had about how much it would actually cost to make. Well, cost to make, uh, actually, I believe it should be around $50 if you do the mission um, upstairs. And the mission upstairs, you go to Maggie. And the one I picked that keeps you in the same lobby is the bounty mission, uh, excuse me, the moonshine mission. I'll show you, actually, while we're waiting. And basically, um, I'll show you exactly what it says so you know which one to pick. Okay. Didn't mean to click on that. Basically, I can't do it right now because I already got my moonshine for free, but I meant to show you guys the actual missions. These are the missions here. You accept the bootlegger mission. That's the one I was thinking of. That one keeps you in the session, whereas where, where there's smoke, there's fire water. That's a story mission. And you, as the story progresses, you'll get to see how Miss um, Maggie Fike is, uh, you know, things about her life and, and introduces you to her. So basically what's going to happen is um, after you do the mission, the bootlegger mission, you'll stay in the same session. But at the same time, what will happen is you'll be able to lower the price and cost for MASH if you do not have the coupon. Okay. Well, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. So, wanted you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. It'll help out a lot. Plus, it helps other people to be able to see the channel as well.
and subscribe for more content because I'm going to keep putting out videos, Red Dead and GT Online, you know, for the foreseeable future and see how everything goes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, have fun, be nice to each other, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Duracell 02 out.